Okay, today we'll look at heart rate monitors. Do I still use one? And what model do I use? There's a few here from my previous collections. Most of them that I need to throw out. Common question that I get is, do I still use a heart rate monitor? Now everything's measured in power. Absolutely I do. The way we look at it is that power is what you're doing. The, the effort you're actually putting in. Heart rate is your response to what you're doing. So they're two different metrics, still very valuable data to collect and to make sure you get the correct data. That, so that's why we've got a, different, a few different ones to go through today and I'll show you how to collect the best data. Back in about oh, 10 or 15 years ago, we all started off with one of these polar heart rate monitors. They were the only thing on the market and they were rock solid. I still have everything in the original box. Warranty manual, international guarantee, manual, USB uploader, but they were, before we had Garmin's, here's what we had. These were just watches strapped to our handlebars. They had altitude, speed, cadence, and most importantly, heart rate. The standard strap was a hard plastic strap, pretty uncomfortable, and they moved to a soft strap which had a little pod. So these were awesome back in the day, they never missed a beat, they were really good heart rate monitor straps, they were good products. Unfortunately, Polar didn't go the Ant Plus route and are now gone. Along come the Cyclops heart rate strap that came with Ant Plus with our first power meters that we had, or the first power meter that I had anyway. 2.4 coded Ant Plus, still a hard strap, not bad, still really not that good. Now along with the Garmin head units, the Garmin straps were initially pretty good. They came out with a hard strap early on, I'm moving towards a premium strap. What I found with the premium straps is that last two, three, four months, then you'd start getting dropouts or high readings or erratic readings. So I went through about three or four of these premium straps from Garmin and decided to look elsewhere. Then along came the ticker from Wahoo. This isn't a paid advertisement from Wahoo. If it was, the vlog would look like this. It's not. This is about finding a solution that works for you and solves problems. So I chose the, uh, the ticker initially. This is still the original ticker strap that I've got from two years ago, I think it was. Um, I've since upgraded to the Ticker X, um, which has a few more inbuilt features. Nothing that I really use, though. It's got running and things like that. But the main feature of these ones is they transmit on Ant Plus and Bluetooth at the same time. So you don't need an extra dongle for your iPhone if you're going to use it for Strava or go for a run. But the number one things with these straps is they don't drop out. These are the best straps I've found and the best pods for no dropouts, no spikes, does not miss a beat, so to speak. A funny thing about the newer heart rate straps, they have firmware. So the first time I put the ticker on, it asked me to upgrade the firmware. Now, upgrading a firmware on a device you're wearing and it's monitoring your heart, that felt a little strange from a technology point of view. Standing there waiting, it wasn't a pacemaker or anything like that, but having something firmware updated that you're wearing at the time, it's a common occurrence for people to go through a few Garmin straps. So throw those out, grab the ticker, and let me know how you go. Thanks for watching.